Hey readers and writers, today we are going to take some time to go back over and um, look at how we can analyze arguments. So this is going to be your reteach opportunity from the grade that you did on Monday. So pay close attention and hopefully this will help you fill in some gaps and get you better at analyzing arguments. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to know is that when we are analyzing arguments, there's going to be three things that we're going to be looking for. Um, we're going to be looking for our author's claim, reasons to support the author's claim, and evidence that supports the reason. So let's get into what those three things are and how we can find them. When you're looking for your author's claim, what you're really looking for is your author's opinion on the topic. What do they feel about the topic, okay? How do we do this? Well, to do this, we're going to read the text, and honestly, sometimes you can read the title of the text, and it will tell you what your author feels about that topic. But once you read your, uh, your text, you can probably, you should be able to get a feel, whether it's positive or negative, okay? So usually it's going to be, does your author agree with or disagree with on the particular topic that you're reading about? Secondly, when you're looking for your author's reason, so once you know your author's claim or their opinion on the topic, your author is going to give reasons to support the claim, okay? So what's a reason? I don't remember. Well, your reason is a statement that supports your author's claim, okay? So you're going to be looking for statements that agree or disagree with your author's claim. And then lastly, let's talk about our evidence because sometimes we confuse our reasons and our evidence, okay? So your evidence supports your reason. So um, what you're going to be looking for is evidence is things that you can like take your finger and point to in the text itself. So usually when we, when we as teachers ask you to find us evidence, we want you to find us direct quotes that come straight from your text. So in this case, you're going to see me look for examples, um, stories, statistics, facts, quotes, or even expert advice. But your evidence, guys, is what you can touch on the page itself. Your reasons, you might not be able to touch those. Your reasons, you're kind of, you're thinking of what, why doesn't my author agree with plastic? Okay, oh, it's harmful to the environment. Okay, but what does he give as evidence to support that plastic is harmful to the environment? All right, now that we've gone over the three things that we need to look for when we're trying to analyze some arguments, why don't you listen and watch me as I try to analyze this argument here. Now, this may be familiar because we it should be, but let me just practice this with you. So here's my text. Violent video games are not okay. What I want you to do is I want you to pay close attention and I want you to watch how, one, I read through this with a fine tooth comb. Two, I look for my author's claim. Three, I look for my author's reason. And four, you're going to watch or listen as I look for the evidence that supports my author's reason. All right, first I need to read it. Violet video games are not okay. Just from reading the title of this, I'm thinking the author here does not think that violent video games are okay. But let me read it to make sure. Many experts say that kids should not be allowed to play violent video games. These games have multiple harmful effects. To kids, game experiences can feel real and in fact, Feeling somewhat real is what makes them interesting. Watching a rated R violent movie shows violence, but when kids play a game, they are the character in the violent thing, doing the violent things. They experience and practice that role and that teaches their brains, which are forming new connections every day. You know that I did it feeling when you accomplish a mini task or do well in a game, a feeling of satisfaction and success should come from positive achievements. But in these games, they come from killing someone else. That is sending the wrong message to our kids. Violent video games only allow for violent action. No player can solve their way to the next level without violence. But it's built into the game that players must use violence to succeed. 
Training children that violence is the first and only solution to conflict is not healthy. It's already way easier for a child to push another child when they're angry than to resolve a conflict in other ways. When used appropriately, technology has the power to be the, most, the best tool ever invented. Children should be taught to use technology for the greater good, not for violence. All right. So now, after I've read this, I'm ready to start analyzing this argument. So let's see. I know that I need to find my author's claim, my author are the reasons, and then some evidence to support my um, reasons. So let's start with the claim. Remember, your author's claim is going to be your author's opinion. Just from reading this passage or this text, I get the sense that my author has a very negative feeling about violent video games. They're not good for kids. So I think my author's claim is violent video games are not okay for kids to play, and really he's saying kids should not play them. Okay? So now that I know my author's opinion, now I can go into, well, what's my, what reason does my author give to support his opinion? Well, if you remember, go back with me to the first paragraph. He says, or he or she, whoever, says that these games have multiple harmful effects. Hmm. I'm thinking if they're saying that there's multiple harmful effects, that means that my reason or the author's reason why kids should not be able to play violent video games is that playing violent video games as kids can have multiple harmful effects on them. So guys, we are almost done. We figured out our author's claim. We figured out our author's reason. Now we need to do the big step, which is figuring out what supports or what evidence does the author give to support that violent video games can have multiple harmful effects. So let's see. If I go back and I look in my second paragraph, the second paragraph is talking about how kids, when they play violent video games, are almost experiencing it as if it was real. Hmm. I think a, a support or an evidence to support that uh, playing violent video games can have multiple harmful effects on kids could be, and notice guys, I underlined this, or in this case, I, I highlighted it. I can highlight my supporting evidence straight from my passage. It's right here. They experience and practice that role, and that teaches their brains, which are forming new connections every day. Hmm. So let's put it all together in a sentence or in a statement. So here's my evidence one. Playing violent video games can make the experience feel real. In the passage, the author states, they experience and practice that role. This means kids may learn to do violent things from violent video games. Notice here how I won when looking for evidence to support my reason. I went back into the passage. I highlighted it or underlined it so I know it came straight from the passage. And then I wrote it up in a statement. Now, a statement is going to be more than one sentence. I also explained what that meant. Okay. I gave you, I put in direct quotes and I also explained what it meant. Now, I want you to try to find evidence number two. We already know the author's claim. We already know the author's reason. Now see if you can look in paragraph three and find evidence number two. All right, friends, did you find it? So remember, we know our author's opinion about violent video games that they're not okay. He, we don't think that, or he doesn't think they should play because they have multiple harmful effects on them. So we're looking in paragraph three to see, can we find that evidence too? Remember, you want to highlight it in your passage. So in this case, when we're looking, remember this paragraph is talking about that feeling of satisfaction and success and how it should come from positive achievements. But when the games, it's coming from hurting someone. So I'm thinking my evidence too should be violent video games send the wrong message to kids. Kids feel a sense of satisfaction and success when they hurt someone in a video game, or I should say in a violent video game. That feeling should come from positive achievements.
Notice how when I went to find my evidence too, I got it straight from the passage. Um, you, you're going to get your, your evidences that support your reasons straight from the passage. Notice how I put in direct quotes so that my the person who was reading this knows I got it straight from the passage. And I also explained what that meant. All right, friends, readers, and writers, now it is your turn. What you're going to do, you are going to go and you're going to look at our next paragraph and you're going to give me evidence number three, okay? I would like for you to find the evidence number three. To do this, you're going to do two things. You're going to highlight it in the text itself and then you're going to write up your statement. All right.